Well, from West Asia, shifting our focus to our continuous coverage of the ongoing Ukraine-Russia war. As Ukraine's incursion into Russia enters its 12th day, the border regions of Kursk that continues to witness destruction and devastation. In the latest, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is once again in the eye of the storm. This comes as a drone strike has put the plant's safety in jeopardy. The plant, which is under Russia's management since 2022, said that a Ukrainian drone has attacked the site with a massive payload. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, they've said that the impact was close to the plant's cooling ponds and around 100 meters from the plant's power line. However, the attack did not result in any casualties or damage in any equipment in the plant. The plant, which has been largely dormant, has seen both Russia and Ukraine blame each other of sabotaging and endangering the safety of the plant. In the midst of all this, a Ukrainian convoy went up in smokes near the border regions of Sumy. Ever since Ukraine made a surprise invasion into Russia, bombardments by drones and missiles have majorly increased in the area, which has basically earlier been quiet and peaceful. Reports now suggest that an Iskander K cruise missile and an aerial bomb was used in the attack. Officials from Ukraine confirmed on Saturday that two people have been injured in missile attacks in Sumy. The attack has also damaged cars and buildings. Recently, Ukraine has also held assault drills in the Sumy region, which is near the Russian border. According to Ukrainian instructor, the objective of the drill is to train soldiers to defend themselves from ambushes and attack the enemy. He also added that the Ukrainian commanders have thought out the incursion very well and has caught the Russian forces off guard. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said that his troops have strengthened their positions and their deployment is only growing stronger in the region. Today, General Sirsky also reported on the continuation of our advance in the Kursk region. The operation is proceeding exactly as we planned. The bravery of Ukrainians is achieving great things. We are now strengthening our positions. The bridgehead of our presence is becoming stronger. So far, Kiev has claimed to have taken control of 82 settlements over an area of 1,150 square kilometers in the Kursk region since August 6th. The major counteroffensive into Russian region has sent more than 120,000 people fleeing the border region.